Back to Train Sim World once again uh, with another video. Uh, you can probably see me. I did the 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 go the obviously I did the scenario last time. I did the the West World loop, which we've just done. Um, so yeah, uh, I thought that was a good one to do um, for the first video to write to drive a British train on the uh, on the uh, on obviously on the first stream. I was wondering that so if I could try rapid transit and um, like maybe do maybe see if I can try something slightly different. Like this is this is also quite different rapid transit. Oh we could just go for another Brett's route again and we do um, we can also just do another HST route again. Uh, but I know what you're probably saying about this one, Christmas cruises are a bit early for Christmas, but how about we do that one? I mean, it's in the snow actually, pretty much. So you're doing a, you're driving the HST, but in the snow, a snowy winter, obviously. So, it may be quite fun to do that one then. So, we should do that now then. We should um, pass into that. So, this is, should be quite fun as well. Of uh, course, probably somewhere to. What we're doing now, we are. With London Paddington closed due to engineering works, you've been called on to assist with the trains being turned back at Ealing Broadway. Yes, yeah, probably. This is probably like your typical one now, like right? train disruption and cruisers, and you know, seems to happen a lot of the time, eh? It's like some hidden things as well, correct the balls you find as well. You know, like sign that we're going to try and see if we can find some of these. So once spy, I think that's where we are now. This is not Paddington, this is country with a station somewhere somewhere. So no idea, certainly. So we'll just wait on our service to come in. We'll say this is our train popping in the station now. Yeah, slow. And <laughs> a weird name, eh? Slow. I've heard of it. I don't know where it is. It must probably be far from Paddington, sorry. Must be the next station from Paddington. So here's the iconic HST once again. Pulling in. Not the castle set, of course, as I said in the last video, this is the pre modernization, the pre swammers, swam, the pre, uh, I mean, the pre sliding doors, all the swam, swam doors, drop, drop lights. Thanks for helping out today. With your local knowledge, the maneuvers are dealing Broadway should go smoothly. When you're ready, take control of the train. Right, so I better take over this train, I guess. It's very nice to... I might try and see if I can get the to the, the, you know, that thing I was saying earlier. Door shut, first of all. I might try and get this then back on the train support, train supply on. Better get the doors. I don't know what that does. I don't know what it's that we does the does wear the engine up or whatever, doesn't it? Oh. The camera's a bit funny, it likes to bug itself out sometimes. It's just all the detail in this train, eh? It's amazing how much all that detail, including the radiator fan, that's all right next to the levels, eh? Everyone in the seats. I mean, this is probably one of the best, you know, one of the best SSTs, and um, probably to be in the game. I mean, train some of it as well, obviously, is another game, but as in the PC version. 
this is train sim world, so don't get confused if I like. Train sim world on console, and train sim world on then. Look at these doors shut. Let's have some action. There's the wind, there's the drop lights going up. Better. I better confirm to the yard. To the Moscow beat. Get this on the forward. Uh, train break. I'll just I'll just uh, these these my L1 so not two. We're going well because we've got the train supply on that's all some brawl and engine up or whatever, isn't it? We'll just uh, we'll just um throw up a bit more that's the way to rest. A bit less left away, that's one why it's a bit won't see it's let it quite low. Yeah, uh, track is a bit slip away. Let's get the horns. It's a bit funny why it doesn't work. Bit of climate control on or something. Get some heat on. Well that does. Oh dear, do you not see? Oh, I've got my headlights on. It's a tile, I think everything's all set from the driver before. I must be marker, daytime markers. Just check that. It's got the marks. I don't know what these ones do. When do these de ice it? That helps. It's weather. Train. Train supply breaks then, right? Where's train supply meant to be? Is that the dials? Does that do anything? Dials. Do it like that, right? Eh? Not them well. So they're doing it from the side, okay. Daytime markers, daytime lights and markers. 12 miles in. So we're going to Elon, Elon Broadway. So I don't know that station very well. Not my neck of the woods anyway, but... So yeah, um, as we say, we're driving the iconic HST once again. On the great, the great, uh, the great Western Main Line once again. I reckon we're getting this train up to full potential once again, 1 to 5. That's if we can make it to 1 to 5 in that, in that space of the time period. It doesn't take, doesn't do actually racing very well. We can put this down so I'll <laughs> put it right up. <laughs> I bringed. <laughs> Won't do that. That's the way I did, that's the way what I could always do. See what it looks like. See what the SST looks like if it's rained up. Rain down. <laughs> it's a bit bizarre, isn't it? Well, of course, you can, you can drive like this, can't we? It's the, it's the wheel, it's the, it's the, it's the wrong shot of the wheels. It's pretty dirty. Or even have the SST in front like this. Some cinematic sort of shot. Let's get a bit of air, uh, let's go through there, let's go through the cinematic. Let's stand the crest there. Let's stand the crest. I think we went past, past the bus crest, didn't we? This is a six car, a semi car, isn't it? In fact, this is a, is this a six car, this is a six car, I thought it was a seven car, it's not. It's the beefy car there. It's quite distinctive to windows. You recovered in this side, so that's the kitchen on that side. Hey, where's, where's the... Let's sit back in the cabin against. 
just let's turn the lights to drive out. Let's get this thing back up again. That's it. Let's go see again, once again. Anything, uh, that's the engine, that's the engine, isn't it? It's just the engine up. Let me do that. I wonder if you can enable the EWE, AWS on some boots. Normally, normally with that, then uh, the thing would actually beep. I think I've actually done that, that's the way. That actually would help. Maybe even your height cell, how you can enable that. I don't know why they do it, and I don't know why they do it now, possibly, but I might try that sometime. Because obviously I think you beat, you, that's the thing, it beats all the time, doesn't it? Try and see if I can get this up. I can try and see if I can get this up and run something. Yeah. Nice views, quite a nice morning, I guess. This is the morning, like 9.04. Getting up to 125, really, 120. Pushing it now, eh? We can actually push it to that speed in that time period in six miles. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a shot. It's not, not a very far journey, but we'll try and see if we can probably try and get it up to that. Well, it's actually there now. It's probably down a little bit. Beautiful train this is, eh? They hit sisters, eh? So I keep saying, yeah, this is this, this, this amazing train. And I mean, as I say, say this game is also train some sim world, and there's also train some of it as well, comes on console. I mean, train some of it on PC, I bet it has This is the, it's train some world on console, train some of it on PC, so there's two different games. I actually believe it's the same developers, that's the way to train. I'm going to have to start slowing down, I think. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to break soon. Train some old, and I mean, train some of it's also, I think they're developed by the same developers, I think. Called Dovetail, apparently, it's a cool name. Dovetail Games. There's some there's some strange names of developers. You don't get very many developers. I brought one. I don't even know what I'm meant to be breaking here. Dovetail Games. I don't know where where that name comes from, but there's some weird, some strange names of developers. But I have to slow it down now. Might be a bit too fast, that's the video. There's a crossing signal coming up, so I don't know. And that's going to be there. And up to 100, actually. So that's that's we that's that's we not 100, that's not 100, you know. Okay. I have to slow down right here. Probably going a bit fast, maybe. <laughs> so ourselves like down. There's a crossing thing coming up, but I think we're stopping before the cross. I mean, I think we're just stopping before our bed. Probably in the game once again, we're not speeding. Not going to have fuel potential once again. There's a crossing signal there. There's a lead coming down, so we're going to have to take ourselves down now. Right? So we crossed ourselves, crossed ourselves into the platform. 
Also of course then is on our web for chains. That you don't use for auto create this way the chain do you do the event of the chain kind of max to do it's fine. That's what custom is. If you didn't know, you just put the chain of Z M A and the zero I do when it's where the chain is sign. Finally we're gonna get fast out. Don't feel style best on that for the way. So it down. Right end time. So we've done that objective. Uh, um, that's the one one. I'm so confused with this menu. It's left, isn't it? So yeah, let that do its thing. Maybe turn the engine, maybe turn the same supply off. I don't know what train supply does. So you, do, can you, you can let me do it. Give me a comment below if you know what train supply means. But it does, the engine seems to be doing something. I'll put it back on again. It does move up. I just think it was something to do like a PTO or something, but I don't think it's a PTO. Maybe it is a PTO, but it does move the engine up a little bit. What you can use is like hydraulics or something, yeah, power. Because it goes to like 1100 or something. This is, I don't know, it's 600, isn't it? And so it says like a track gear, doesn't it? The MTU engine, it's, it's like a track engine, doesn't it? You can hear it quite clearly. Then that objective then. Okay, you're clear to shunt into Acton Yard. Right, better. These doors shut. Get some moss cord to go once again. Right, get this all to run in. The throttle again. So we, so we put ourselves. Obviously, we slow ourselves down when it's not very far. Might as well just go feel the way now. Only at 1.1 miles, so we're probably not going to go too fast here. So fast we're gonna go, I want to see. We got the big 35 and big just come in. So we sell this down again. It's gonna be an upturn at the yard, I believe it's called. This is a strange casing, but it sounds like it's action instead of that and action. That's what reminds you of action, but it's action apparently. So yeah, uh, so I'll see. I'm, I'm, I have familiarised myself with this, familiarised myself with the controls. I need to slow it down here. Fifteen very soon, so I better go this way. Some for a little bit. Just, just slowly make our way in the acting yard. It's not very. Very long journey. I think we're we'll just, just putting ourselves in here. In case we're putting ourselves in here. What do you call them? It's the line away off, like a. 
I guess from the start way by I guess it's just yeah, on where we all want to say would we would tell I guess way by but this is a wine or something I mean just some more sterile shots for the last last bit. I mean it was amazing eh, the graphics in this game. I mean, this is the last gem version so it's It's not really, it's not really, uh, it's not really the current gem version, but it's the old G version, so it was, it's still, it's a fast gem. Close down the deck and walk to the other cab. Okay, after, set the reverser. Look at that. Engine off. The master key to watch. Go. Get his headlights, the tail lamps, because I think we were driving from the opposite side now. So we get ourselves to the other side of the train. Get ourselves out. I'll leave it, we'll see the train from, from the fine side. I mean, this is how high the train is, like, you would think it is, it's like, obviously that's why we have platforms, eh, you know, at the end of the day, it wouldn't be, it won't be very suitable to board this way on a train, eh? But yeah, that's, that's the reason, reason why, obviously, we have the platforms. I mean, I know, I know, uh, and I'll see a lot of classes of trains, so I'll see. I mean, this is the class 43, so you know, the SST, it's what's the names it's given. AK, class 43, AK, the HST, high speed train. I went to City 125, it's another name it's called as well. It was, it was created in many names, so you might say. Yeah, that was good, definitely. So far, what to do is stop. Let's go forward. Let's go down in this direction. Get the daylights, um, headlights, and markers. Day markers. Train break into running. Let's get that off. Throttle up. Probably just to get a bit more throttle on, so we make ourselves up. This thing's all scratched off now, this thing was on before, it's on the other cab, but it's off on this cab will be the dials. We'll just check if it's trained to pipes, the dials, is it the dials? I don't know. Let's just throttle off a little bit, you know, up to 15 hours away. Yeah. How we get on to the back to Elm Elm Broadway again once again. So we make our way out of the yard again and the side in. That's the one I was looking for side in, not not way back. Some rest of that pawn. It works. Doesn't work on high when you press there, but it does. I should have got this thing all set up as well, eh? The EWS. I'm just trying to figure out if that's the thing that gives you all the beeps and all the, you know, the. You know, all these bells and whistles that go off on the train. I'm pretty sure that's the thing that gives you all that. I'm going to take out the 30 now. But we've not got very far, so we'll probably just join them on it. I mean, 
way he wants to go. That's the ribbon update, you know. <laughs> Like even. We'll just um we'll just um take a time we're gonna be stopping here once again. I guess when we're doing a wee turn running back to slow I guess. But yeah, what do you think of train stem world? Do you guys enjoy train stem worlds? I know I know there's the new train sim world that's came out very recently as well. TS that we free, train sim world free as it's known as. I mean I haven't got that yet, but I mean they really the way put the really and really, um, when out the ball games and um, promoting it. I mean they really went for all that cinematic, you know, very really cool music, really Really got a really got a really stick to the guns and really put it out there a bit more than a lot of our you know the other train some world games that have done in the past. I mean, train some world is quite big now, like right? I think in my opinion it's such a big game now it's really out there. Yeah. I someone's buying on there. <laughs> These doors and look left. Get these passengers on. And then don't know where we're gonna go after this. We'll find out. But we're gonna get to one to five if we ride a bit in this loop. So we're gonna take the train. We might just throw it up to up to Max Rottle and we here, let's just do that. I know they shouldn't really do that, you should just take your time with the throttles, they eh? don't just go through them, but they are to full max. I think there's something about doing it, just because it is a lot of momentum with the engine, what's the way into an engine going up to full throttle, I believe. I mean, I know all my classes, I know what classes are best trains, I know, I know the, you know, we like the class 58s, I mean, that's the not our case is too tall, that's a heavy haul freight we'll open with. Uh, or class 56 season. I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> so I'm getting up there, getting popped up, carrying all these <laughs> pop up menus. <laughs> Got to slow, slow once again. Right, let's say, uh, let's just put the brake on, haven't I? Then, run it. Let's say, uh, Easy throttle. Yeah, crash the uh, crash of the. I mean that's a. I mean I really, I really like the crash. Something I like about the crash of the. Don't know what I like about them. I mean it's not a case of tier two. It's the like heavy freight locomotive from the nineteen eighties. It's quite boxy looking. The only thing, the, the thing is, it's given the name Bones because it's, uh, it has now ends, it's not like it's a walk free engine bay. You know, like normal diesel locomotives, so you can walk through the engine, through the engine. It, has, it doesn't have a gangway or that engine gangway. You just have to, you can pretty much sort of spec the engine from the outside of the locomotive. It's quite unique. There's not many locomotives out there. It's mainly about like a sort of American type thing as well. I mean, it's not bought in it's not bought in America. It's bought in the UK also. Uh, B B I think it's B R L B R E L. I believe it's called. It's a company in Doncaster. It used to bought a lot of British things actually. Fifty sixes, I think mean, past fifty sixes. It's a kind of similar. Well, not so much every day, but I don't think the sixties are out to see. Wrong. Oh, he's going red in. Uh, similar to the fifty sixties, forty-seven, class forty-seven, same body shape, pretty much. 
And then they went through this, they went through this program now, the 56s now, now they're getting through this program now, they're called this, this project once again, body, bodies, bodies, body snaps as once again, they call it, you know, like a wee engine, wee engineering process. What they did with the class of the sevens, or forty sevens, we engine them to we we engine and we number them as class fifty sevens. I we classify them as fifty sevens as you see. And then they're doing this for the fifty sixes, we classify them as fifty uh, sixty nines. So the fighting mask got um, EMD engines similar to the class sixty sixes. As you know, the sheds. <laughs> that's the the name. That's the common train. The sheds. Every every train you probably see. There's a shed in this as well. So we'll probably drive a shed in one of the trains, maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of these prodding around the sixty sixties. They're bought in the United States as well. Now, I mean, they're bought in the United States, so they're quite. I mean, they're probably quite cheap, but I guess that's how there was so many fits the sixties that we put, that they built. I mean, we've ordered a lot of them, obviously, but there must have been at least as many as 47s. I mean, class 47s were back in the days. So many of them on YouTube. You probably see there's 47s of Dolomite in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, or three to the early 90s, I guess. I know on for all ones from 1998 on, on from now, 66s. Every train you see train trains 66 now. Most of the most of the time. It's a shame, shame all these classic trains are going away now, yeah. But the case is T's, the the mighty hates his T's. It's just the short sets now, yeah, that's one of the main ones. Like castle sets down here. I mean the castle sets that I think they're called castle sets now. I think it's GWR, they're called castle sets. And in Scotland, they're called in the city, so the city. So I quite. I mean, I've never actually been in London before, but I do share bed in there, don't I? This shot, five, four car. Two power cars, it's still a HST, but the shot set HST. So we've still got two power cars. And when we get myself back out there, the camera again. The camera again. Also, you've got the, the power cars, for example, you've still got that. Also, oh, um, but you've got, you know, got six of these Mat 3 coaches. So you've got four of them, for example. But just, and also, you've got the, you've got the spam doors, the drop lights. So I'll see I have a sliding door here now instead of a spam door. Well, I don't know if you call them spam doors in HSG, but whatever they're called, so I've just caught a door, for example, just a manual door, I guess, if you want to see it. That's the only, that's the only thing that's lacking on the HSGs. I mean, everything, you always look at the map feet, what's inside modern look. Even if you were going to this language, these trains don't really even look like, it doesn't even look like an old train. It's very modern looking. A bit of throttle. A bit of throttle down a little bit now. Uh, so, yeah, of course, the very, very smart, neat, sweet looking courses. Very quiet as well. Too busy. Quite everyone, everyone enjoying the journey, I guess. And the wheel sets look cool as so, well. Obviously, they don't be very really nice when they're like that. Also, they're very jaggy. No some bra. It's very bad on them. That's what's happening. And then uh, you've got your, yeah, obviously, the logo, everything looks top and tip top. This is what the DWR will look This is what the DWR will look looks like. And then they've got the zoomers as well. It's getting over a lot of these. It's just now. We've tired a lot of them now. 
the same value in the R as well, when the R got rid of all their HSTs. Uh, and so again, I feel I'm kind of this kind of yeah. When the R got rid of their HSTs a couple of years ago as well, like they got in, um, you know, they had a lot, and they had the duty fives. Again, they're getting rid of what the duty fives. Well, I mean, they still got duty fives still, but. I mean, then to say to do to five, this is that uh, one, is that uh, another train from the UK, another high speed train. I was also going to be capable of uh, the point mile per hour. I think it's like a European train, if it's 25, 25 kilometers an hour. Better break. Yeah, we've got crossing signal again. Yeah, the 25s, I'll say. They, they were they were they were quite they were quite fancy. I mean they're electric. The crafting ones or they were given lots of names as well. Oh we actually quite nearby I'm gonna to have to slow it down a bit more than two miles away. I mean we're one point one mile away so we're actually gonna put fuel service at that speed that we rise. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Sales down 50. Just, just to ease down. Yeah, the 25s, yeah, they've got a lot of their sets. I mean, a lot of their units only running up to York from London kind of cost of leave. I mean, I follow a lot of DK train forums and I read about that. This guy is your not Ted and I mean, not to Scotland anymore. It's a bit of a shame because that's how I kind of miss the 2 25s. 2 25s are amazing when you train my way right there as well. I mean, they're quite noisy, this thing as well. 2 25s are pretty noisy. And the problem is, noises and SSGs. OG engine SSTs, the problem is noisy is there, I mean that they are noisy, two two banks, they're very noisy. Especially when the thing starts up, you hear them. I remember I remember they've been pretty noisy as well. I'm just coasting through the station right now. I may have to throw it up a little bit. I think I've actually left the brakes on the thing we have. Just give it a bit more, a bit more, a bit more throttle in there. Is that actually throttle or not? What's going on here? Yeah, we've got one. We've got that wheel spin there. It's so it's plowing my way and it's slow, but we we quick a bit too soon. We've baked there a bit too soon. It's just there, uh, what's the stand? It's just doing it now, yeah, it's fine. It's probably going to be eight steps in anyway. There we go. Oh, get these doors open, I guess. Button noise, button. Right. So it's the long button noise, it's the long button. Right. So let's get ourselves back out once again. Let's see these passengers getting off. Probably not any eye coming off. And on all train services, this includes e cigarettes. There's a couple of them. And I'm guessing they disappear. In fact, we're going to passengers at that point where we're not talking about passengers. But yeah, about a train here, eh? it's just a beautiful train. We get me wrong, eh? and you get a wee fun nail actually for the video. Try and get one soon once I'm finished. So this is 43 CO271, so we're driving out under the 27 out of the factory, I guess. So 43 is the class and then uh, 27 is the number. 
that's the bus speed, the two digits, the first two digits are requests and then the other digits are the number of the chain. Right, get these two results. Let's have them, let's have some drop, like, let's have some main dual action once again. Oh, because oh, I've got camera on, yeah, that's why it's, let's get some dual action. Have a great day. Really like that voiceover as well. <laughs> very, very, very chilled, very, very train driver. Oh, what am I doing here? Back in the driver. Let's get ourselves at the seat. Let's get this door open. Jump off. Shut the door. Quickly you have to exit the scenario. Yeah, let's have another grand sort of training. I'll be heading to Paddington. So some AI driver will probably taking over it. It's very quiet. One person here. Yeah. Waiting on these train, maybe waiting on a 166. That's the other train. They might drive a 166 on one, one of the streams, on one of the streams sometime. Everything's very detailed. PTIS as well. Train times station very very that now we're ruined light color of train station. Right. I've done it. <laughs> I don't know what that speed about as there that gap just went down down. It's of course I was probably leaving the station at that point. That's why it's probably gradual. I've got another gold medal for that as well. <laughs> So good. So, yeah, that is it, I think. Let's maybe continue. I might have a look at some of the main menu, some of the trains that we've got through the, on the, on the list as well. Let's have a look at some, let's have a look at some of the trains. So on this one, eh? See what we're driving, see what trains we've got in the thing. There's a 166. So this is one year our trains. Yeah, D of year one six six. It's just D there, of course. I never ever feel in that one. It's the sixty six. Don't want to drive this one, don't we? Shed, shed, shed. shed. So yeah, we've got we've got that one. Arm track. That's an American one, of course. Oh, this one would be quite cool, cool drivey. Various trains. So I've not got the DLC included. This is all the trains you get in the in the thing. We. It's quite noisy. Some of these trains. The electric ones don't even make any noise. I like how it doesn't make some weird noise. And you just select it. Doesn't. I don't know why it does that. As the 66, yeah, some great trains to drive. We try the 66 one day. Yeah, so it's not that many on the but and what you get when you start, you get a few trains. Might drive some American stuff one day. We've got some other stuff here as well. We've got articles. Some stuff will train some well pre up here as well. Tell me all these weather warnings that you get, you know, all this. In the new game, it's snow. I don't even know why I'm showing this on stream, but it's just something. I'll just go through this briefly. Thunderstorms. All this as well. Quite amazing. Some other stuff here. New trains as well. Just don't go through all that. It's just quite new stuff. It's quite, quite, it's quite dovetail wise. I guess it gives you like updates and stuff, and that comes in the game, you know. So yeah, let's finish this one off for you guys. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to comment below. Make sure to subscribe to your channel. I'll have the playlist at the end of the video to check out. Uh, of course. And then my podcast, I'll leave a link down in the description for the podcast. 
and yeah, I might keep some more trains somewhere as we go. So yeah, so thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. So bye for now.